So right now in the clinic, we have uh, a two robot set up. So we have, uh, we have uh, two stations where we can train either upper body or lower body with, uh, with Robert. And it's been helping us a lot in, um, in uh, taking some, uh, some workload off our backs uh, because we really can set up the patient in three minutes and then they can, when they're instructed in how, what they need to do and how the robot works. And after all the initial startups, they can actually just train. So it's a three minute startup and then they can do their thing and, uh, and they can do maybe five, 600 repetitions in an hour or so. It's really a win-win situation for us because we get to have more patients and a less workload for us and the patient gets a whole lot more re rehabilitation, especially because we have, uh, we have it set up so that they have a, a one hour normal neurolog neurological uh, rehabilitation process and then they have a one hour, if, if they choose to go in the robot, they have another hour of robot training, right? So they're either in the robot for one hour before a normal training or one hour after. So it's two hours, maybe two times, three times a week. And it's really a step up in the, in the intensity of that training. So it's really showing good progress for them. So right now, how we've been doing it is we have patients coming in and out in the normal neuro neurological rehabilitation process and we've been kind of screening them since we got the robots to see like wh what patients do we feel like would actually benefit from rubber because they have to meet certain standards to, for it to actually make sense to, uh, to go in the robot. So, so we've been taking them in, asking them if they want to try it and if they want to try it, it's perfect. So how we want to restructure that is uh, we've been uh, trying to rework our test, retest battery a bit. So then when we take in new patients and the existing patients we have, we are going to test them, go through the whole neurological test process and see exactly what do they need to train, uh, what's lacking and is it uh, the arm, the leg, uh, what, what sort of muscles are not functioning, what sort of functional movements uh, is going to help them. And then we're going to do a lot of tests and then we'll start up the whole process with Robert and then we'll do retests and um, periodically so to see if how, how well they've been doing right and then if something's not working we're going to change it and if it's working perfect we'll just keep going until there's no more progress.